Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Academy uh, Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition and D20 Modern Actual Play Podcast. I am your Dungeon Master, uh, Riku. Kind of think of what name I was going to go by today. <laughs> uh, you can find me on social media as PupRiku on pretty much everything. Uh, TikTok, uh, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Uh, and make sure to follow all of us on the D&D Vibe Tribe Productions on all your favorite uh, social media as well. Today, we continue our story of murder and mystery. And we'll see what our party gets into tonight. And speaking of our party, it's time to l let me introduce them as well. So, we'll get started with the mad lad himself, Mikey. Dang, of course I would restart it first. Hello everyone, my name is Mikey. Uh, this is the voice of the, I guess, proprietor and founder of the D&D Vibe Tribe, the Mad Lad, as Chris has stated. Uh, you can follow me on uh, my social medias at Pop Culture Geek. Uh, but I am in the player seat tonight, so this is going to be a great time. And once again, I am bringing you the character of Ramon Osegueda, your Path of the Totem Barbarian. Uh, we shall see what happens. I'm excited for tonight. <laughs> All right. And next up, we have Shiro. Hello. I am Dakota or Shiro, whichever. Uh, I am playing Alex Argenti, our druid human shifter person. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. Awesome. Up next, Adolfo. Saludos, programas, and uh, guten nacht. Yeah, and tonight I will be playing my character, Dagnahuta Crypta, the necromancer. And not a bad guy, yeah. No, no, no. All right, next up we have Josh. Hello, hello, everyone. It is I, Josh. Also, uh, you can call me Preacher if you wish. Uh, you can follow me on... Uh, TikTok at MG Preacher, as well as you can follow me on Instagram at MG Preacher Man. And tonight I will be playing the party's ranger, a dwarf named Thorgmir Zeinhorn. And my character will not com be complete without my adorable canine companion, Leonidas. Awesome. And next up, we have my boy Roll Sixes. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Sixes. Back again, playing Wyatt Luckbringer the second, your probably favorite murderer at this point. Happy to be here, um, boys. I've got great news. My birthday was on September first, and I turned forty-two. You know what that means? I now have the answer to everything, life and the universe. So let's go. Uh, let's see if you have the answer to this mystery. And also, happy birthday. Who's the barber? <laughs> and finally, we have Sutfin. Hey everybody, it's Sutfin. Uh, tonight, uh, we're bringing back Edgar Wallace, their, uh, technomancer, if you will. And, uh, we're gonna find out what, uh, what doors we can open and... See what we can break, maybe. So let's 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 see what adventure adventure awaits for us tonight. Wonderful. And uh as you can possibly hear, we are down one member tonight, uh Minimos, um uh also known in the game as Rashmi, your warlock, uh will not be joining us tonight. He has some uh uh plans that he ha had already tonight, so we wish him best, and hopefully he'll be back next time. So, ugh, as I stretch out and get ready for this wild ride, uh, last time you all went in and uh, discovered a murder in the local convenience store in, in the city you are in. Uh, you found that there is actually no body in there. But there is a chalk outline with blood splatter that leads to a mysteriously locked door that no one seems to be getting through. 
uh, Weissel, uh, Dagny's uh, weasel familiar, discovered uh, an alleyway that has rotting meat and flesh. Uh, and our party has learned that the key to that, uh, that locked door may be with, uh, within the slums just outside the city. And so, our party is left to investigate and figure out how this murder occurred. Uh, they also found inside the blood this mysterious green flakes of crystal in. So... Of course, there was some evidence left behind. So, you all talk to basically everyone here. Um, and you have at least those two places on your list to go, I guess. So, I'll leave it to you with what you want to do first. <laughs> hmm. I believe, if I remember correctly, Ramon went to go outside with Dagny to go investigate the rotting flesh, so to yeah. speak. Yeah, yeah, Ramon, come, come, come with me, and let us, let us simply see this, this, this rotting flesh. Yeah, and not take any of it. Yeah, that's that would be terrible. See, you had me until that last statement, so now... No, 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 Ramon, it is fine. Yeah, I know, it's, it is, it is fine. It is, we, we, in the spirit of investigation, we will do this, yeah. All right, I mean... For science! Sure, is, is, for is, science. Is Dagny still wearing all the pendants and stuff? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm just, yeah, no, I'm he just trying to set the scene. Yeah, no, he st he still has like all the, the like Portland regalia, you know, like the Portland. So it's like, uh, like Portland. Visit Portland and, and Portland this right, and then like the the top shirt is a is a Portland Trailblazers jersey, right? And then he's got just like all these necklaces, you know, and whatnot on top, and then like he's got the the goofy like I heart Portland hat. But he's he's sitting standing, like, because you know uh, D Dagny is, is is a deep gnome, so uh, his little uh, four foot self, right? He's he's still standing like straight and erect, and like when he stands, he keeps his his hands behind his back, just you know, just like normal, I'm trying to act all like elegant. Alright, so is it just uh, Ramon and Dagny who's going out to the alley, or is anyone else joining you? I mean, I guess I'll go out there with them. I don't remember if I was doing anything. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, because I went out with Dagny in the midst of Edgar and Wyatt trying to open the door. <laughs> oh, yes, because y'all discovered the uh, um, the uh, the secret samurai symbol or tag on the on the side of the building as well. Yes, sir. Okay. So I feel like it's just three of us right now. <laughs> okay. So I'll say, and I'll actually rewind a little bit. Um, the three of you step out of the convenience store to start heading over to the alleyway, and one thing that you do. C is Kaya, who you met, who ran the weapon shop. She is walking from the entrance into Chinatown back to the mall area. Um, and she looks pissed. Huh. For the record, I would like to state, just for the sake of it, because Ramon was not here for the beginning part of this little excursion, so we're going to say that he got a dossier catching him up on everything that <laughs> well, happened. <laughs> well, well, Dagny would stop, and, and he'd be like, My friends, look! It is the weapons dealer! Yeah! Wait, we're dealing with the weapons dealer now? Wait, what I miss? <laughs> yeah! She's the one! And Dagny's just yelling this out, like, you know, <laughs> just like... 
without a care in the world. Yeah, she's the one that that, that they had that had the, the the green samurai sword. Yeah, and and that is that is the person that has the sword. Yeah. Oh, hello, hello, weapons dealer. Yeah. Good night. Uh Make a cr- um, what what role would this be to get her attention? <laughs> Loud I mean, AF roll. <laughs> loud, I, I'd say I just make. I wish that was a skill. Actually, you know what? Yeah, uh, roll performance for me. Okay. Oh my god. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna roll live tonight because the digital dice did not do me good uh, the other night. So stand by. Stand by. Okay. Here we go on the performance. Awesome, and a minus one on this, too. <laughs> it's going to be a seven. All right. Um, you notice that uh, the folks on the street are turning to look. You get their attention, a bunch of other people on the street, and they are just giving you, like, this confused look of, of both, um, like... Who is this crazy person? And yeah, we know she works at the mall. <laughs> um, but as for Kaya, it's like she did not hear a thing, and she just is storming uh, uh, down the sidewalk and into the mall. Uh, so you don't get her attention. Why, why is she with us? Did she not hear me? That person, you heard me, yeah, yeah, good sir, yeah, you heard me uh, right there, yeah, yeah, that's that. I sent at you, uh, Ramon, you heard me, yeah, did you not hear me? Did I not make of the speaking, yeah? I mean, I think, I think everybody heard you. I'm not now, I'm not saying that she did it, but she probably has more pressing matters, which we're probably gonna want to talk to her about later. But one thing out of a time. For science? For science! <laughs> and Dagny's attention right back towards the dead stuff. <laughs> All right. So, um, as you head into the alley, like I mentioned before, on the side of the convenience store, you see that red tag, uh, graffiti tag, of the Secret Samurai. Um, it looks it's definitely dried um can't uh a few drips but nothing really noticeable to know how long it's been there um but to set where you're at uh there is the outside of a restaurant called the piccadilly uh there is a uh there's the entrance to a nightclub uh called viper nightclub and there is a side entrance into the parking garage right next door. Uh, as you are standing, the the uh, dumpsters are actually, oh, and you can smell them, uh, near the back of the alley. Yeah, I mean, Dagny's just walking back there like he's going on a nature walk, man. Um, so as you're getting closer... Uh, because it's kind of like a V shape, so uh, um, it is just out of line of sight until you get to the end of that row. Uh, make what's your passive perception? Passive is thirteen. Okay. As you get closer, before you can actually see the dumpster, you hear a bit of clicking and mechanical kind of whirring um and almost like something is digging um you also hear a very low hum of some kind of vehicle Dagny will turn to the compatriots that are with him and be like do you all hear that I hear, I, I hear the clicking and the whirring, and as if there's a machine, some sort of machine here. Do you hear the machine? Do I hear the machine? 
Um, now that you've been alerted to to knowing it, go ahead and make a perception check at advantage. Oh, okay. Since, since at the very least you know to listen to it now. Score. Well, it's a good thing it's at advantage. Because <laughs> that was a two. Oh, uh, okay, this is actually not the, as... This is better. 19. Oh. Uh, since you're actually concentrating to listen to it now after dying his words... Uh, <clears throat> you definitely hear it uh, more succinctly. Um, you could tell that the vehicle is more of a mit- like a motorcycle, and the clicking and whirring—it's um, pretty light sounding. So it could be small uh, machinery or multiple machinery, um, but you're but you can't really tell until you look. And just for clarification, this is coming. This sound is coming out of the dumpsters. This is coming in the direction of the dump- dumpsters. Okay. Alrighty then. Well, gentlemen, I guess there's nothing. I guess there's nothing like the present. So shall we? Dare I say, investigate? <laughs> yeah, I, I do not understand why we are still waiting. It's just clicking and whirring. What? What could it possibly be? Hmm. That doesn't make me feel any better, but... And slowly, Remote pulls out, like, his collapsible glaive and just, like, just prepares it just in case. It's still within its little thing, but not ready to pop it out yet. And kind of just starts walking towards it cautiously. Are you going to try to walk straight up to the dumpsters, or are you you trying to sneak... Sneak... Ramon is trying to sn- be as sneaky as possible to see if he, he could figure out what's the source of this without scaring who or what or it ever, if okay. it is a bean. <laughs> All right, go ahead and uh, roll stealth. Mm. Let's. All right, so that's going to be... Okay, it's not terrible. Um, that's a 14. So you, uh, you start sneaking around the area to, to get a spot. Um, and what you see, um, by the dumpster is you see these small drones, um, that look like spiders. And they are essentially, col- when you see one is in, two of them are like in the dumpster getting things out of it and tossing it to a third. And the third is actually leading it over to a mi- motorcycle where they seem to be dumping it into a bag of holding. Uh, as you're watching for a little bit, you see that they're essentially taking meat out of the dumpster and putting it into this bag. Um, the motorcycle, it looks like your standard, uh, crotch rocket motorcycle, um, sports motorcycle. You also see a woman, uh, sitting in a long black trench coat. Her hair is, uh, slicked back and is this... Like neon bluish color. You see, right beside her is a mask. Uh, actually, no, I should say her helmet. And the front visor of the helmet is actually it looks like a mask of a dragon. And you see that same blue color of her hair as a mohawk on the helmet. Uh, one moment. Uh, so you're, you are watching this happen, and as you're watching it, uh, this woman actually, uh, speaks out saying, I don't bite, you don't have to hide on me. Well, I mean, 
when you got mechanical spiders and all that, you never know. And Ramon kind of just stands up and still holding the uncollapsed glaive, not out yet, and kind of just stands where he could be seen. <laughs> mm-hmm. Not only have we found friendly me- mechanical spiders, but we have found a friendly Fraulein as well. Look at this. Good night, fair Fraulein. I am Dagny Hooter Crypta. Uh, these, are, these are my compatriots. And I see that your spiders are collecting meat. Yeah. May I ask, what is the meat for? Inquiring wines want to know. And Dagny, and, Dagny just, and Dagny is going to just, like, lean forward and, like, he's going to get that, like, wicked, like, Cheshire cat smile on his face. And, like, thematically, like, his glasses will do that thing where, like, the light will just catch his glasses so his eyes won't be seen. I'm just getting, uh... Elijah's wood ca- Woods character from Sin City. <laughs> yes. yes. That's exactly yes. what I'm yep. having in my head for that. Okay. Um, oh my you goodness. Do, you see uh, uh, this woman and she kind of just glances with just her eyes over to you and then back to um, like she's like uh whittling on a stick with a pocket knife and such. Um, And she just goes, the restaurant over there is very picky about their meat. They'll throw out anything, even if it's, even if it's just a day old. Hmm. Inside check this. (laughs) So I'm just collecting the meat. Uh, it's just, you know, bring it to the poor. Uh, go ahead and roll that inside if you like. Listen, past experiences have while, made me this way. <laughs> while Ramon rolls the inside check, completely oblivious, Dagny's just going to be like, oh, so it is not the meat of a dead body? 18. 18? <laughs> um, with an 18, uh, you see no... You see no deception in that in in her voice. She uh, she, uh, she definitely collects food to give to the less needy that gets thrown out. Um, looking at her, she does look like um, that she that she is homeless. Um, so it's probably bringing it back to her community. Um, as and then uh, Dagny, you said you were going over to the to the dumpster, or I mean, d- yes, Dagny was making his way to the dumpster. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because you asked about so there's no dead bodies in there. Um. Right. Yeah. She he just obliviously just. Mm-hmm. Okay. She gives uh, you another glance, and. And then goes back and goes, if it's it's that dead body you're looking for, hate to break it to you, but there's only animal meat in there. I don't know what happened to that body or anybody's for that matter. That, um, I will say that the blood in there does kind of uh, seem like it is humanoid blood. But as far as I've seen, all the meat in there is cow and elk and bison. Yeah, yeah. Those those are very big animals that produce a lot of blood. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and Dagny will, will inhale. Take a moment. Disappointing. Yeah, and he'll do a, a crisp turn towards the dumpster, right? And then he'll be like, Weissel, schnell, in the dumpster, yeah. To which Weissel, his familiar, will climb up and just jump in the dumpster. Uh, so Weissel gets into the dumpster, and the two drones that are in there picking at the meat just turn towards it. 
And it's like, if if they were, um, like, a dog, they'd be, like, trying to inspect, like, what is this thing? Um, and keep in mind, these spider drones, even though uh, they are small, they are bigger than Vysel. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's, to Vysel, it's probably these two looming spider machines over it. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's, that's, yeah. Vi so Vysel will kind of sit there and just be like, and like, we'll like do a, we'll, we'll get up on two legs and just like do a slow wave to the spiders. And then, um, uh, you Daphne's see, gonna, oh, you go see, ahead. You see the drones pick up one of their legs and repeat that action of, of waving. <laughs> And then immediately turn back and go back to to, the, to what they're doing with digging. Excellent. Um, so then Dagny is going to do the the familiar thing with Vysel where uh, he's going to start concentrating and he's going to see through Vysel's eyes. Okay. So the first glimpse you get is just this layer of food and meat and bags in the dumpster with these two very large mechanical spiders right there, <laughs> digging through it. Um, and as, um, and as you're digging through it, um, as, as Vaisal is digging through it, he, uh, he's finding the same things. He's finding chicken and fish and, uh, other types of meat and steak and that kind of stuff. Um, I'll wait for him to get back. <laughs> How big is this dumpster, by the way? Like, are these drones inside of the dumpster? Yeah. Also, oh, this is like a big fucking dumpster. Uh, these drones are just are just small. Okay, just small. Um, they're just bigger than Vysel. Yeah, Vaisal's yeah. a weasel. Yeah. And Vaisal... I'm assuming Vaisal's gonna dig into everything, too? Yeah, I mean, so he's not going to interfere with mm -hmm. what the spiders are doing and, and where... Vaisal's kind of lazy, so where, like, the the spiders kind of, like, move stuff, you know, mm -hmm. he will kind of, like go behind them and check that. But yeah, he's going to, he's going to like go in and out and, um, uh, you know, and, and, and look around in the dumpster. Uh, also getting a little bit of enjoyment because Vaisal is, uh, well, spoilers. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, okay. Go ahead. If you would please. Make a dexterity saving throw for Vaisal. Uh, dex plus three. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, 21. 21. Um, so as Vaisal is uh, clawing around, uh, a couple times she feels some of the uh, spiders... Um, hands just graze against his his tail, um, but Vaisal is quick enough to get out of the way before he gets ac accidentally mistaken for a piece of garbage and tossed out of the the uh, dumpster by the spider drones. Um, otherwise, nothing of note here. Um, the woman, uh, kind of. Uh, speaks up and goes, Y'all ain't from around here, are ya? Uh, you could call us tourists in a sense. Tourists? Digging around in a dumpster? I mean... Eh, we're kind Eh, and Ramon kind of just laughs a little bit as is like, uh, uh, if you want information, you got to cough something up yourself. So how about we start with this? What's your name? Name's Maru. 
but most people seem to refer to me by my last name. Hmm. All right, Maru, would you want to offer that up, or should I give some information first, and then we can continue the game of questions? No, I'll tell you. Okay. I'm sure you'll hear it around. Last name is Nightmare. Hmm. Very interesting last name. So, <laughs> why are you here? Well... Me and my two compatriots here, uh, we're doing a little bit of work, so to speak. <laughs> we're looking into some of the happenstances that have been going on here in Portland for a little bit. Just trying to keep the peace is all. So you're going after the secret samurai. I think you mean the sleeping samurai, but yes. Sleeping samurai, you're right. <laughs> my bad. Sorry. I'm like, wait, I, I wrote it down correctly, right? Okay, you good. did, you did, you did. That, that, that was my bad, that was my bad. No, it, it's all good. I wanted to make sure, I was like, ah, no. You're fine. You know, for being a secret, it seems that everybody seems to know about them. You did see that big red tag on the building, just like I did, right? Oh, yeah. Can't there miss it. The people in it, or the person, or whoever the fuck they are, they might be secret, but the sleeping samurai themselves, <laughs> they're no secret. Even knowing the streets as well as I do, I haven't been able to figure out who they are, but <sighs> at least my people are protected. And when you say your people, do you mean a remote is struggling to find the nice way of putting for the, the homeless community, I guess. <laughs> like, Ramon's Re yeah, yeah, yeah. trying to be cordial about it, and me as Mikey doesn't want to be disrespectful either. Uh, yeah, I know. Um, so she... Ramon kind of just lets the trails off and then does, like, one of those hand motions, like, well, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We have a... We have a bit of a tent community down by the docks. So... But... <laughs> with all of us without a home, without much money... They ain't targeting us. Okay. So... The Sleeping Samurai go after people of wealth or some notoriety. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. Take a look at some of them, their past victims, politicians, folks higher up. They're going after power, not peasants. Hmm. Although, even with what, who they're targeting, it's still, that's all they have in common. Is some type of wealth or power, or the semblance of. But hey, mm. at least our community is, friend is friendly and not like the slums out there. Bring a gun. You know, I've been told a lot that recently, so I, I may... Well, I mean, technically, we do have a higher gun, so to speak, so I'm going to let them take care of it, but... <laughs> uh, on that, you actually hear the motorcycle give a... Vroom, vroom, vroom. Yet no one's on the motorcycle. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's sitting on the stairs in front of the motorcycle. Hmm. Uh, you see, she turns back to the motorcycle and goes, <laughs> You're right. Make it two guns. Each. Alrighty then. As Ramon takes notice of the revving motorcycle with nobody on it, so, uh, you wanna expl you wanna tell me the parlor trick, or are you gonna let that be shrouded in mystery? I'm quite curious now. <laughs> oh, look, I it was just a you know a little spell I'm able to do. Just uh, being around. A motorcycle, 
or any vehicle. Give it life, give it sentience, and truly make it mine. Had this one for a little over a year now. Hmm. And you hear a little bit of puttering from the motorcycle, almost like it was, it's like giggling. <laughs> Sick. Oh, sometimes he has a mind of his own. I can tell. It's and kind of- yeah, she goes, now listen, if you're going after the secret samurai, I'll be honest with you, I commend you, but I've seen the carnage they're able to wreck. Be on your guard. You might be getting into something that is even over your pay grade. Hmm. Huh? I definitely will keep that in mind. Uh, one more thing. By any chance, do you know somebody, you mentioned outskirts, do you know somebody or know of any information you can tell me about a person named Brick? (laughs) You see, she just uproariously gives a laugh. (laughs) Oh, so how do you know my ex? Oh, shit. (laughs) Uh, Let's as you see her kind of just stand up. And the two, uh, the three spider drones stop what they're doing and are now facing the two of you. Hmm. Well, let's calm down here. No need to get hostile. I wasn't sent by this brick person. It is just a name I came across in this investigation. So let's take down the hostility. I mean, you know harm. (laughs) I'm kind of just hands up. (laughs) Trying to show good faith. (laughs) Sorry. Bacon cheeseburger. Um, So just just to clarify... um, um, Vysol is not able to find anything in the dumpster of note. Nothing of note. It's it's actual like it's actual blood and edible, rightfully edible food. <laughs> okay, so uh, as soon as Ramon does this whole thing of, um, uh, you know, well, uh, as soon as he finishes the sentence of, you know, we mean you no, we mean you no harm. Uh, Dagny is just going to just all out of nowhere, just chirp. This is disappointing. And Vysel's going to hop out and back on his, sh- on Dagny's shoulders. And Dagny's going to hop out of his, um, his trance and completely like the lady's not there is just going to turn to Ramon and be like, there is nothing in this dumpster. This has been a waste of time. I want to go back to the store. Yeah. So at this point, Dagny, you see Ramon kind of hands up. Just like, kind of turns behind you and says, "Okay, we. C- that's unfortunate, but we kind of have another situation that we're dealing with right now. So, uh, let's not add to the hostilities." And kind of just grits his teeth, and just kind of gives you the glare of <laughs> just Dagny's, like. Just- <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna like squint at Ramon, right, and like. It's it's as if like you could see like the animated wheels come out of his head. And then Dag- Dagny's gonna be like, oh, and he's just gonna like slow turn, and he's gonna look at the 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 lady that's standing there, who's now standing up, and the spider drones be like, good and knocked, yeah, we 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 are just, we are just here, yeah, hmm. peace. <laughs> <laughs> the imagery is great but yeah Ramon's just like no hostilities I just want to talk I'm just following some leads here I, I, it sounds like it's a sore subject my apologies for bringing up the past so to speak uh, Ramon what did you say to the nice lady that, that has us so upset <laughs> Dagny's now looking down going to slowly look back and be like and why do you say you have brought up the past? What what are you talking about? What 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 did you do, Ramon? He brought 
He brought up my ex, Brick. You brought up her ex? And now it's going to be like Dagny is siding with her. And he's be like, Ramon, you never, never bring up the ex, especially on the first conversation. That is just number, that, that is courtesy number one. How could you be doing that? And I, like, again, he's like, he's going to be slowly <laughs> moving back to be like, next to the, this girl, like to be like, mm, yes, girl, you know what I mean? You... <laughs> Sorry, uh, the, the imagery of Dagny doing this while he's still decked out and all of the Portland stuff is just beautiful. Continue. Um. So, so Ramon, while Dagny is saying all this, you see uh, Maru look at the motorcycle and just give a the fuck is going on look to it. And when she looks up and sees Dagny, Dagny trying to inch closer, the motorcycle will uh, jut out of position and come to a screeching halt in front of you, Dagny, blocking you from getting closer. Um, it will be revving its engine at you with visible flames. Coming out of the tailpipe. Uh, Alright, Dagny, Dagny will, will, will turn and uh, suddenly and look at the, the motorcycle and then turn back to Ramon and, was, and we'll be like, Now, Ramon, what have you done to do upset the motorcycle? Yeah. What, what, what is this? I apologize. And he'll turn back and say, I apologize, Fraulein, for my friend, Ramon. Uh, he, 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 we, we do not get out that much. Uh, Sorry, I'm looking at something real quick. Oh no! Oh, I... How long have yeah, they yeah. been out? How long have they been out there at this point? Like, it's been... I feel like they've been out there a long time, and like, there's a lot of noise happening. Can we hear like this? Make yeah. the, the, Can the, they hear the motorcycle? The the, 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 the <laughs> absolute like squealing of a motorcycle outside. If y'all, if for everybody who is in the uh, still in the convenience store, if you want to make a perception check, you can. And I'll wait on that to continue the scene. I'm uh, I'm very interested in the floor. I got a nat one. <laughs> you are just you're you're looking down at the floor at the blood splatter and seeing the green glint the green glint of crystal, and it's almost like it's hypnotizing to you to like ooh shiny, and you're just staring at it. You're not even investigating it anymore. You're just staring at it. Anyone else? Uh, Edgar oh. got 17. Okay. Uh, Wyatt's got it in 11. Okay. Uh, 17 plus 1 for 18. All right. Um, Wyatt, I, you don't quite hear it um, for whatever reason, but Edgar and... Uh, and uh, Thorgmir, you hear you hear the motorcycle like revving up. You don't hear what's being said, but you're able to hear that motorcycle like revving up, puttering. Um, you could maybe tell that it's even getting louder as it spits out the fire out of its tailpipe. Okay, yeah, something's clearly going on outside. I don't know about you guys, but I am going to go and check. Come on, Leo. Bow. Yeah, I agree. Let's it's uh getting kinda of noisy. And I've had about all I can take of trying to get into this door, so <laughs> the door. <laughs> yes. Just go at that door. <laughs> I think door. Wh- I think Wyatt I think Wyatt just like looks at the guy who whose shop it is and he's like Yeah, call the guy with the other key and uh get him down here. I'll pay for his Uber. Um and I follow. I follow my wizardly friend out the door. Once, uh, once everyone's gone, we'll wait like a solid thirty seconds. And then Alex will look up and go, "Oh shit!" And then he'll <laughs> leave. Yes. So I just thematically, 
when you all come around the corner into the alley and, and you see this whole situation, you will see Dagny, right? So he's, he's standing there. And of course, the, the motorcycle is behind him, which has interceded in front of the, the girl, right? And the girl's standing there. But Dagny has now switched to German and is castigating Ramon in the name of the girl. Damn, castigating. I haven't heard that word in forever. <laughs> right? Word of the day right there. <laughs> One second. Yeah, Ramon is just like, still hands up, but you, the camera, so to speak, looks at Ramon and he's just, this dejected look is like, what is, what, uh, wh- where did I go wrong? <laughs> um, Ramon, since you're there and know everything that's seeing everything go down, can you make a perception check for me? Sure. <laughs> I'm getting cat. I'm getting chastised by tagging you. Okay, that's not horrible. That's a twenty-one. All right. Uh, you see, you actually witness, um, her hands begin to move, as if casting a spell, and she. Uh, do, oh, do, do we see her doing this too, or is it just? Nope. Oh, okay. I'm just sorry. I don't mean to inter- I didn't mean to interrupt. You know how it's, I feel about people eyeing my people. Yeah. It's, 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 it, it, you guys essentially get back out, um, right when she finishes casting the spell. Um, Dagny, as you're like chastising, Uh, Ramon in German. All of a sudden, there is no sound coming out of your mouth as she casts silence on you. Dagny continues chastising in German! (laughs) Yeah! More exaggerated hand motions, right? Exactly. Exactly. There's so much... (laughs) Yeah, there's so much animation going on because... Yeah... It's so German. Maru, Maru, Maru casts a spell and it looks up and sees the rest of you come in and he goes, I really hope the rest of you aren't as, as annoying as he is. Well, I, I think annoying is probably... No, they're, I don't think annoying is the right word. We are They are an eclectic group for sure, but anyways. So are we good? I don't mean any harm. I didn't even know there was a connection there. I'm, like I said, I was just following some leads and I just want to have a conversation and kind of Ramon turns back to the rest of everybody just coming into the scene. <laughs> Let me handle this. If things go south, then you guys can jump in. But I just want to talk with our new friend here. So don't do anything hasty, please. Hmm. Hmm. All right. <laughs> I believe you. Um, you do see that with her standing up, she's ha- holding that helmet next to her, next to herself um, as the drones go back to work. But this time, they're just cl- closing up the bag and putting it onto the motorcycle. And she goes, "You don't need to know about my history with Brick, but just know you can have." An ally for life. If you bring me his head. As she turns towards the motorcycle and starts mounting it. Okay. And so... Ramon kind of puts his glaive back into his coat pocket, so to speak. And just not moving anywhere for it. Kind of just stands there and says... I can't promise anything. I can't promise that I will give you his head. But let's just say now I have even more questions for this brick character than anything. <laughs> you see, she kind of chuckles and goes, eh, he'll probably give you the same story I did. Or make something up. <sighs> but listen, I'm serious about having an ally for life. There's... I've gotten to know these streets and pretty much urban environments my entire life. 
you do this one thing for me, no one would care. It's a homeless person for, versus a thug in the slums. No one's going to care. It's no real blood on your hands. And if you do this for me, I'll give you some help. As he puts on the motorcycle, flips down the visor, showing the dragon face, and essentially <laughs> starts revving the motorcycle again. As on each rev, you see the eyes glow, that same neon blue color. As she, as after a couple of revs, she goes back, crosses her arms, and goes, you know where to find me, as the motorcycle zooms off. Sick. <laughs> I love the fact that I can put sentient vehicles in this. <laughs> oh, they're giving me some Durada vibes. I love it. <laughs> Who needs talking swords when you got enough talking motorcycles? <laughs> So, you are now all in uh, the alleyway. Um, I will say it's starting to get dark, um, but uh, go ahead, uh, Dagny. Once the silent spell drops, Dagny will be like, oh, that is why we do not eat spoiled Schlingerfeinden. What the hell did I miss? Uh, I'll I'll fill you guys in, and Ramon turns and Dagny to Dagny, <laughs> and Dagny will turn turn around and be like, "Oh, oh, oh where, where did the Fraulein go?" <laughs> when the silent spell had dropped, and he and Dagny just came off with that, even Leo is just kind of looking at Dagny. One of his eyebrows is up, and his head is like almost like. 90 degrees just cocked over to one side. Literally doing the rock eyebrow raise. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, Ramon turns to Dagny and she's like, I'll explain everything to you. Uh, no. I didn't intentionally bring up the ex. I didn't even know that Brick was her ex, but now that I do, that just makes things more interesting. And I'm a little hurt that you think that I would do something like that on purpose. We'll talk about this later. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, Ramon turns to the rest of the party. It's like, well, uh, I got some good news and not so great news. <laughs> Which one do you want to hear first? <laughs> you got to lead with the bad news and then break it up with the good news, you know? So, so the bad news is uh, apparently there's not a dead body back here like we surmised so that's unfortunate. Uh, the good news is that potentially we may have found an ally that can help us further our investigation, but it's going to cost us something here. And I don't want to make any moves quite yet without running it by everyone first. So, uh, by the way, did you manage to get the door open? <laughs> Slow turn. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no. Oh, yeah, oh, there was... There, by, by the way, there was nothing of note in the dumpster. Uh, Dagny just thumbs thumbs over to the dumpster. Nothing of note in the dumpster. It was just some rotten food for poor people, yeah. No key, no nothing. Nah. Very, very disappointing, yeah. Wait, okay, so quick question. Out of character. Maybe I misheard everything, but did Maro mention that there was human blood somewhere in there as well, or am I misremembering things here? She did say that she can tell there was human, there was human blood in, like humanoid blood, I should say. Okay. Um, but the only meat that was in there was creature meat. Which, which is the thing that that Dagny was actually caring about was. <laughs> body parts so <laughs> spoilers okay. okay i just wanted to make sure that i that i'm remembering this correctly <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so then i proceed to mention that and then yeah oh by the way uh the ma'am on the motorcycle name is maru nightmare so we're gonna keep that in mind for later yeah so she basically 
gave us an offer that she could potentially help us since she knows these streets better than we do. But it's going to come at a cost. But I think we should probably have that conversation more, somewhere more secure and not in the open. Oh, by the way, uh, the weapon shot lady, uh, apparently she's pissed off. So we may want to talk to her later. We didn't do anything. She just looks pissed off in general. So, <laughs> so yeah, so um, if everyone's cool with it. Shall we go back to the hotel and discuss what we found? Question mark? <laughs> well, we are right across the street. Why do, we, why do we not go see the weapon lady? Why, why do we go where we can, we, we can go see, but to see why she was upset? We are right across the street. Why do we not go? <laughs> All right. Well, I'll um, say you have you have a little bit of time before uh, before things close that you can talk to her. Okay, never mind. We're gonna run that back. <laughs> it's like rewind. So yeah, yeah we do have right, a little right, right, right. exactly. So apparently we have a little bit of time. So is everyone off for an excursion back to the weapon shop? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? Plus, I can finally meet this person in person. <laughs> All right. So. You leave the alleyway and you make your way back to the weapon shop where, um, where, uh, everyone was purchasing weapons or at least window shopping.